Welcome to another production of Park TV 16 Sports. Tonight we are on location at St. Louis Park High School bringing you non-conference high school girls volleyball featuring your St. Louis Park Orioles coming in with a stellar eight and two record and visiting from the other side of the river, Two Rivers Warriors High School. They come in with a two and three record out of the Metro East and of course St. Louis Park is in the Metro West. My name is Robert Christensen. Glad you're with us as we are streaming live on YouTube. This is Park TV 16 Sports. So St. Louis Park got off to a great start. We were here for the first match of the season when they beat Minneapolis South and they went on a seven match tear. Then they've lost two of their last three. That's why they're eight and two. And right there is number five, the lead it off to serve for St. Louis Park. Amara Schrader, the 5'7 senior, gets it underway for St. Louis Park. And Two Rivers able to get point number one. That was number nine for Two Rivers. Simone Schiffsky, the six foot senior, able to get just enough on that to find the soft spot in the middle of the St. Louis Park defense. So good start for Two Rivers. On the road, now back to serve. That is number 10, Sophia Amundsen, a 5'11 junior. And that ball sails to the back row. St. Louis Park up top, gets it over the net. Now two rivers in the front row. And they have to play defense. And a chance for Park now. Behind, and the kill shot blocked in the back row by number 10, Amundsen. Good second point here in this best of five match. And now St. Louis Park tried to find the soft spot in the defense and on the return shot, they were unable to do much with that and that will result in point number two. And what a long rally that was. Now back to serve again, number 10, Sophia Amundsen, going for her second consecutive point, team's third. The jump serve in, a lot of power on that. Going to be right back and play to Two Rivers' hands, and now they get it back over. St. Louis Park with an opportunity, and they'll dip it across, and now here comes Two Rivers with a kill opportunity, and they dink it across, and it works again. This time, number two, that's Ellen Kipka, right there, got the shot, and look at that smile. And if you are a Two Rivers fan, you got to be feeling good so far. 3 nothing lead. Am Amundsen going for her third consecutive point on serve. Early here in the first. Now St. Louis Park back, and that's going to go off number one, Danny Shields, and Park gets their serve back, and their first point of the match, 3-1, we'll call it. And now back to serve for St. Louis Park, number 10, Houston Samoy, the senior outside hitter captain. She's 5'10". She's got her fingers taped up big time. All right. The jump serve by Samoy to the back row for Two Rivers. They'll bump it ahead and now play defense and a chance for Park now with a good set right here to the near side. And the kill shot is in and beautifully struck by number four, Nevea Carlson. And Nevea Carlson with that kill shot is one kill shot away from the school record, the all-time St. Louis Park school record. And you can see why with that form right there. That was picture perfect from that left front position. Inside out kill shot. Now, the serve. Two Rivers takes it over, blocked at the net. That was number four. Again, Nevaeh Carlson. I don't know if that constitutes a kill, but if it did, she broke the record right there. I think it's more of a block right next to her. It's also number six, Grace Johnson. And now Park has it tied up. They're eight and two on the year in a very competitive Metro West Conference. I'll speak about that in a moment. And now that serve just clears the net nicely by Samoy. And now she's got two consecutive service points and she'll go for number three in a row. And now Park has their first lead as well. Four to three. Matt, game number one, best of five, wins the match. And Samoy, this one sails long, and that ties it up for a piece. And now Two Rivers will get the service game back. And it looks like a substitution now for Two Rivers. Checking in Addison Estal, the senior. And back to serve now is number one, Danny Shields. She just checked in. And she goes right down the middle of the court. You don't see that that often. Now to the near side, Carlson's kill shot. And that was going to be for the record, and they are counting it, and there's going to be a timeout by Coach Sam Hanlon. 
And I gave you warning, she was two away. That does count as a kill shot, and that's why they're calling timeout. And here it is, you ever see a school record every day, do you? There, well, that was, yeah, that was it, wasn't it? It looked like a block. No, it was not a block. That was a kill shot, and that's two in a row, and uh, that's a big record, folks. And there's a standing ovation. I think the Two Rivers crowd to my left here in the stands don't quite understand what's happening. But we did get an email, and the record, uh, she needs two kills to break the record tonight of 693. So that was 694 kills. She, was, she came into the match with 692, and she broke it early, and the prior record holder for seven years, that's significant, back in 2017 was set by St. Louis Park grad Ella Trotter. So Ella, if you're out there watching, great run there, seven years with the most kills, but now that title belongs to Nevaeh Carlson, senior 5'10 outside hitter. Okay, following the timeout, and there is gonna be a special acknowledgement of that record and there were two other team records broken this year already by another player and we'll get to that later on as well now two rivers plays it back 5-4 st louis park from the back row samoy finds it the plywood inside that back white line and those tape fingers are serving her well tonight she served well and that was a big time shot from the back row now back to serve that was Grace Johnson. She got to the back row. Now Two Rivers plays defense and a chance for St. Louis Park. That's Grace Johnson there. Now Samoy from the back row once again. This time blocked in the back row by Two Rivers. And that kill shot was spot on by number nine, Simone Schilski, the six foot senior. That was in her wheelhouse and now she'll check out. And in her stead will be Amelia Banny. But look at that power. And Samoy somehow got tripped up there. She might have been leaning the other way and just realized she couldn't catch up to it. Nevertheless, nice, nice kill shot by Shipsky. And there's Nevea Carlson, and that's gonna be, I don't know if that officially counts as a kill, but it should. As the back row, that was number seven, could not handle it. Kate Murphy, the senior. And Nevea Carlson is off to a roaring start here in game one of this best of five now. St. Louis Park back to serve again. Nice easy one to the back row. Chance here for Two Rivers. And they do get it to the back row. Samoy on her knee. Now to the near side to Nevaeh Carlson. Goes off the ceiling. Low ceilings here at St. Louis Park High School. Two Rivers handled it okay, but they couldn't get it over the net. And so that's going to be the eighth point for St. Louis Park. Their largest lead of the night. Eight to five. And now back to serve for St. Louis Park is Celia Slattengren, the sophomore 5'9". Setter, and gets it to the back row, received by Shields for Two Rivers. Now they'll play defense and a chance for St. Louis Park with a good set, no, or that, right? Number two, Megan Knight, the 5'10". Outside hitter, a little tricky right there. The deception fooled Two Rivers front line. 9-5 our score. Slattengren to serve again. Back row again. She's been awful consistent. And there, that kill shot went wide, out of bounds. Point to St. Louis Park. 10-5. Slattengren to serve again. I believe this is going to be her fourth consecutive serve. So she is on a roll right now, as is St. Louis Park. That goes deep, they play it. Now the set to the near side and the kill shot attempted by Izzy Kirshner goes into the net. And that's point 11 for St. Louis Park. They play to 25, you gotta win by two, I believe. If I remember, it's been about a month since I've done a volleyball game, right, was right back here. And Slattengren now for five in a row, if I'm counting correctly to the front row. This time she really varies her distances, doesn't she? She went back row, back row, then to the front row. Now, oh, the missed time, the miscommunication by St. Louis Park in the front row. Number five, Schrader tried to get it to number two, Knight, and they just mistimed it. So that gives the serve back to number four. 
Grace Hansen, the senior outside hitter, and Two Rivers, and she also takes that very center part of the court there when she serves. So something, and off the net, played by St. Louis Parks, number five, Schrader. I know that was Grace Johnson, and that's a point for St. Louis Park. As Two Rivers struggled there at the net, now it's 12-6. And back to serve is number five, Nevaeh Carlson, who, if you just joined us, just set the kill school record at 694 in her career. And you want to talk about a kill, Two Rivers has one of their own by Sophia Amundsen, the junior 5'11 outside hitter, and that was in her wheelhouse. She faced that double block attempt at that front line and still got it to go. Great. Effort there, 12-7 our score, back to serve. Number eight, Addison Etzel. And that's a nice serve, diving for it, but at the front of the net, and great body control by Megan Knight. How did she not run into the net? And it results in a point to St. Louis Park. That was incredible. We can get that on replay. My goodness, Megan Knight. Not this time, okay, but you know what? She's back to serve. If you want more Megan Knight, there she is. She gets it in, back row, and out of bounds. 14-7 our score, and St. Louis Park has widened their lead to seven. And now Megan Knight. Very confident out there, St. Louis Park. As I say, they're eight and two on the year, and they're still not the best team in the Metro West. We'll get to that in a moment. Now, the kill shot right at the net by Samoy. Somehow, Two Rivers got it back over, then Megan Knight gets it across her. That was Amara Schrader, I should say. And that goes off the ceiling. Back to the back row for Two Rivers. The dive, and they save it to the back row. Carlson, now to the near. Samoy with the kill shot and the dive by Two Rivers, and they keep it alive, and it's back in St. Louis Park side. Now to the near side, Grace Johnson gets blocked at the net. St. Louis Park back to Grace Johnson. The kill shot, saved by Two Rivers in the back row. Now they get a big shot, saved by St. Louis Park. Back to the front row, Grace Johnson to the back row, the diving save. Still alive, Two Rivers to the back row. And now we got a whistle, and Two Rivers, my goodness, a technicality. And there are boos from the Two Rivers fans. That was quite the rally. Sad that it had to end that way, actually, after all of that. Meanwhile, back to serve. After all that excitement, Megan Knight into the net gives Two Rivers their eighth point. 15-8 here, as we're just about midway, maybe just slightly past in this first game of the best of five. They played a 25 for the first four if it goes that long. And then in the fifth, I think they go to 15. If I'm not mistaken, maybe it's 11 if we get that far, but that ensuing serve by number five, Izzy Kirshner into the net, gives the ball right back to Amara Schrader, who has two school records already this year, and we'll talk about that. There'll be a special ceremony between set games one and two, and now Two Rivers plays well at the net. That was number 10, Sophia Amundsen, Amundsen who's had a couple of nice kill shots. Definitely a force for Two Rivers in there. Stepping out on the substitution is Grace Hansen, but here's Amundsen, and oh, a little overly aggressive on that. Those jump serves are harder than you think. Got to get the timing down and everything else. And so point to St. Louis Park, 17-9. And now Park just seven points from the win in game one. And now Houston Samoy, who had a great run at her first service attempt in this game, throws a knuckler deep in the back row. Two Rivers struggle, but they did get it back. And now a chance for Park. That kill shot to the back row, saved by Two Rivers. The dig shot saved by Amara Schrader, goes to her knees to get it. And now Samoy, she was a little off balance, tried to somewhat kill shot that from the back row. And Unsuccessful as you can see right there, and it's 17-10, back to serve for the Warriors. Danny Shields, Jr., and that serve, well placed, has Grace Johnson diving for it, and now the kill shot by Nevea Carlson. Which every time she gets a kill shot, it sets a new school record, and here it is again. What a great feeling that must be. 
every time it's a new school record. And she's got a lot of games left here in their senior season. And that kill shot by Samoy goes off two rivers and that's a point for St. Louis Park. And it's 18 to 11. As we have a substitution. Oh, that point went to two rivers, my fault. So 18 to 11, two rivers within seven. Now back row to Schrader. No, that's Schrader. The kill shot by Carlson blocked. Great teamwork there by number five. Izzy Kirchner, number eight, Addison Etzel to deny Nevaeh Carlson. They still didn't get the point though. Volleyball is funny that way. All right, back to serve is Sierra Celia Slattengren. Mid-range serve and the dink shot, the dive saved by St. Louis Park's Grace Johnson and point to two rivers as there was a violation in the neutral zone by St. Louis Park, so two rivers hanging around here. Their lead is, their deficit is seven, but St. Louis Park is six from the victory. So it is gonna be still quite a mountain to climb if you're a Two Rivers fan, but that is number four, Grace Nelson, the senior outside hitter, gonna try to make it happen. To the back row, the kill shot by number two, Megan Knight. Oh my goodness. It is that great a feeling. I play, look at that, just the power. I would not want to be on the receiving end of that. <laughs> All right, now, now the latest record holder for St. Louis Park. I keep repeating it, but it's hard not to. Nevea Carlson gets that ace to go, 21-12, and now St. Louis Park just four from the victory in game one. Nevea Carlson to serve. She takes the position just the off center to the left. Nice easy stroke there, does not jump. Now to the near side, the block by Megan Knight. She saves it, Grace Johnson to the near side. Samoy tried to go for the kill and it's out of bounds. Point to Two Rivers as they are hanging in there and now back to serve for Two Rivers. Number eight, Addison Etzel, the senior. And stepping out, Danny Shields. You can see her in the red jersey, heading over to the wastebasket there. Meanwhile, serving is Etzel. Back row. Nice 12 kill shot goes long by Knight. Was not tipped by Two Rivers. And they are still creeping back into this. They still have a long way to go, but right now, Addison Etzel has two points in a row in her service here. 21-14, that goes deep. Played by Slattengrid, near side, Samoy. She had a good run at it, blocked at the net. That saved the back row. And now that's gonna go off Carlson and the point scored by number 10, Sophia Amundsen. We've mentioned her name more than once tonight and for good reason. Nice play by her as she, a diving, Nevaeh Carlson. There's Amundsen with a smile. It is a great feeling when you score in volleyball and that time Etzel Somewhat shank that off the side of her hand, but a great run by her as she'll step out after a great service run. And the deficit though still remains seven in St. Louis Park, just three points from the victory. And back to serve, the senior Megan Knight. Right in the middle, goes to the right side, back row. And the quick hit there by Two Rivers and Nevaeh Carlson tries to go for that outside corner and just overshot it by a little bit. And Two Rivers now within six. Stranger things have happened. St. Louis Park gotta find a way to close this out now. And that is one way and an end of the net again. Number five, Kirshner. Those jump serves, unless you've really got them down, I think you're better off standing. And now a timeout taken by Coach Sam Hanlon, and I think she does want to have a discussion. If I could uh, intuit what I would be saying is, yes, just what I said before, let's close this thing out, let's not mess around, get their focus back. 
I think they're going for those big winning hits there, trying to go for lines uh, deep in the corner. They're overshooting him, and it does give the other team hope, and the next thing you know, you got a problem, and uh, just play basic volleyball. Don't have to be heroes is my, would be my, uh, but Sam Hanlon's down there, and I'm sure uh, her words were well taken, and let's see if St. Louis Park can close this out now. As the timeout now, 20 seconds remaining. Here comes Two Rivers. And look at the great high school enthusiasm by the student section over there. They've been standing the entire time. Good stuff here in St. Louis Park. All right, now for the back row. That was Amar Schrader. She's the ace leading record holder for all times. Now Samoy blocked at the net. Two Rivers, they've been effective there. They can get a scoring opportunity, and they do. Number 10, Sophia Amundsen with the kill shot. Goes off Carlson's right hand on that far side. And now it's 23-17. And back to serve now is Amundsen. Let's see if she goes with that jump serve. She struggled with it last time. And it appears she will. And she struggled again. And that gives now game point to St. Louis Park. Back to serve is Samoy. That student section is now cheering in unison. They smell victory right here. Game point. First game point. Back row. Nice bump by the back row for Two Rivers. Now the kill shot. Back row, Schrader with the bump. Now the set and the kill shot. Saved by Shields. Now there, the dig shot. Oh, beautifully played, but a dive by Schrader saved the point for St. Louis Park. Now the block at the net, and that'll do it. Park wins game one, 25-17. Stay tuned for game number two. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports. We're streaming live on YouTube. Social Security is with you through life's journey from birth to retirement. As your life changes year to year, so do your needs. For over 80 years, Social Security has helped to meet your needs and is committed to improving access to the services that make a difference in your life. Today, you can verify your earnings, estimate your future benefits, apply for retirement, manage your benefits, and even change your address all from the comfort of your home. Social Security's online services help put you in control with secure access to your information anytime, anywhere, allowing you to spend more time with family, friends, or simply just enjoying the day. Social Security, securing today and tomorrow. See what you can do online at socialsecurity.gov. Park TV 16 Sports on location from St. Louis Park High School in Minnesota, bringing you non-conference girls high school volleyball. Two Rivers High School out of Matamidi taking on St. Louis Park. Park of the Metro West Conference and Two Rivers in the Metro East. Not identical records. St. Louis Park coming in eight and two against Two Rivers, two and three record. Interesting how St. Louis Park has already played twice as many games overall as Two Rivers. Question I don't know the answer to, but tonight, St. Louis Park up one nothing after winning 25-17. Two Rivers to start it off with the serve, going for game number two, and at the net, that's number 10, Houston Samoy. Put St. Louis Park on the board. They draw first blood in game two, one nothing. Amara Schrader back to serve for the first time in game two. And stay tuned for the intermission between the second and third set. We're gonna be Aaron Schrader and also Nevea Carlson who have set three high school career records this year. One just tonight by Nevea Carlson for aces. Okay, Schrader back to serve or excuse me, for kills was Carlson. And there is Carlson with a nice save in the back row. Samoy with the kill shot, saved by number five for two rivers was Izzy Kirshner. Now Samoy with the kill shot as it goes off the body of number nine, Shivsky. And now three points just like that for Amara Schrader. Going for her fourth consecutive 
to start game two, and that one finds the perfect spot placement as Danny Shields couldn't catch up to it in time in the back row, and now it's 4-0 for Amara Schrader, and she has the two other school records set this year. One of them is four aces. And that one into the net, but a nice run for Amara Schrader in St. Louis Park, a great start. Not so much if you're a Two Rivers fan. 4-1 our score in game two. Park just won game one, 25-17. Of course, this is the best of five. All right, now in to serve off the bench, number seven, Kate Murphy, the senior, from the middle of the court. Strong serve to Grace Johnson. Set by Schrader, and the kill shot by Samoy goes long. Or did they call an infraction? No, they had an infraction at the net by Two Rivers. Gives the point to St. Louis Park. They lead 5-1, and now Houston Samoy back to serve. That's her right there, number 10. Pounding that ball, she takes a back left position and the jump serve. Not a lot of spin on it either, a little bit of a knuckler. Now the dink shot, I don't know what else to call it, but now to the back rope, Samoy found, and that was Shields saving that. A lot of power on that shot. Now saved by Carlson. And now some more from the back row, goes off the net, saved by Two Rivers. They're playing very well on that back row tonight, I have to say. Now this bump to Carlson, and the kill shot is a good one. 6-1 our score, and what a great rally by both teams. Excellent volleyball action here from St. Louis Park High School. There's Carlson with that top spin heat on that ball. 6-1, now Samoy for her second service point. Look at the power on that. Shields can barely control it. Now Schrader. The set into the net, point two, two Rivers, 6-2 our score. And to remind you, you are watching Park TV 16 Sports. We're streaming live on YouTube. I'm Robert Christensen, glad you're with us. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. All right, now back row, Danny Shields to serve. Junior, back row. Grace Johnson, and in the near side, that's Navea Carlson, another school record and a kill for her. I think she has four on the night at least. Look at that, what are you gonna do with that angle? You talk about a launch angle in baseball, I don't know, what's the opposite of a de-launch angle? I don't know, we need a geometrist. I gotta look up my geometry high school math book and figure out what be the right word for that. I like launch angle, it still works, doesn't it? All right, now Samoy with a launch angle. 8-2 for the 8-2 Orioles on the year. They have a great team, but they are in such a tough conference. 8-2 overall, but they've got Chan Haz and Chaska Maconia all with just two or three losses and more wins. Tough conference, the Metro West. Now two rivers. Schrader with the behind the back set, perfectly placed to Carlson, but now that was Slattengren. Off the ceiling for Two Rivers, it's, you still play it though. Now Schrader with the kill set to number two, Megan Knight, and the point goes to St. Louis Park. Our score 9-2 in game two. And now back to serve, Grace Johnson. The junior and a timeout on the court taken by Two Rivers and they want to talk about it down 9-2 and you can't blame them and that will allow me to continue my discussion about the records here and just look at in the, you got the conference records right there but look at to the right, look at all these wins. Chan has it, Chaska, Waconia, 8-3, and 8-3, and 9-2, New Prague, 10-4. and four. Six teams have winning records of the eight. That is tough sledding for any of these teams to come out of this conference on top. And there, that all-important conference record, Chan Hazen, Chaska, Waconia, 2-0, New Prague, St. Louis Park, 1-1. One one. Followed by the Red Knights of the Nilt St. Margaret's, Bloomington, Jefferson, and Orono. So there is the status of the Metro West up to date on September 17th. Gorgeous weather here in Minnesota, up to 90 degrees, I think I saw in my car thermometer today. But it's nice and cool. The AC is on in September in the gymnasium here. And now here is Grace Johnson with a 9-2 lead in game two. 
And that one they let go, and that was a smart decision by the back row for Two Rivers. And Grace Johnson sails it long, and that results in Two Rivers' third point. Now off the bench, coming in to serve, chasing the ball there. Amelia Banny to serve the junior. And she gets to the back row, Samoy on her knees. Now Slattengren to the back row, saved. Now the set, and they're gonna play defense to the back row. Grace Johnson moves it over to Schrader, Schrader to the near side. Carlson with the kill shot, blocked at the net by number five, Kirshner. Now St. Louis Park on the run, and all because of Kirshner for two rivers. Right here, but this was just beautiful. And just the, the block right there, and well-placed block, then had St. Louis Park up too close to the net, and they couldn't recover. Point now to Two Rivers. 9-4 our score, and there's the quick set ahead to number two, Knight. And that ball falls down in favor of Two Rivers, and now they've cut the deficit to four, so they are not going to go away lightly yet here in game two, and that with authority was Banny with the serve. Now to the near side, Carlson goes for the far corner, waiting for it though. Danny Shields now at the net and taking a little bit off. That was number two, Kipka. And now going hard for it, Carlson, and she overshoots the entire court out of bounds. Nine, six, and now two rivers is within three. And this is significant, folks. Here is Ellen, or excuse me, Amelia Banny leading the way from the service line. Another strong serve to the back row. Carlson, though, brings it in off that. Bo's speaker hanging. So not only do they have the low facade ceiling, and I think it's a fake ceiling, it doesn't look like a real one, uh, you know, but it's there for decorative purposes. But then even below that, they've got speakers. So the power of that shot by Carlson is what resulted in that point. So good for her. And now that goes out of bounds off. Number six, Grace Johnson, and now Two Rivers back within three, and now some substitutions you can see. Checking in right there, number four, and now number 10. Four being Grace Hansen in to serve, and Sophia Amundsen, who will assume a front row position at six feet, zero inches. That's where they want her. Now, the kill shot by Megan Knight. Saved by Two Rivers, now they'll have an opportunity at the net, blocked by Knight, and it goes all the way to the back corner. That was all Megan Knight blocking that to the far corner, and the point now brings St. Louis Park to 11. They lead by four. Great play right by that woman right there. Number two, Megan Knight. St. Louis Park cruising here in the second, although it's a little tighter lead than they had in the first game, so we'll see. And the dink shot goes out of bounds. Off the fingertips of St. Louis Park's front line, Knight and Schrader were over there. But the point goes to Two Rivers, and they're hanging in there with three, and now checking out is Shields, and checking in is number eight right there, Addison Etstall, the senior. She has served well earlier, and Schrader almost carried it, it looks like, a little bit, no call. Now the near side, Samoy delivers the launch angle. <laughs> and the push, which is a endearment push, but look at her stretch out and just the curve of just bringing all the force that she can muster. If you have any frustrations in your life, there is nothing better than a kill shot in volleyball. Off that ceiling again, that go, that's the power of St. Louis Park. Off the I-beam that straddles the net, and now they are gonna call that an infraction as they wave the red flag there. So the ceiling is fair game, but there is an I-beam. I don't know if we can see that. That even extends probably another two or three feet. So there's a lot of obstacles in this gymnasium when it comes to volleyball. And these girls are hitting it. Yeah, there it is. There's an I-beam. Then there's like the fake ceiling. You can kind of see just above that. I'm not sure it is, but it seems like there's a lot more room behind that. But that I-beam, that's a support beam. I don't know what they can do about that. I'm no architect, so I'm not sure, but it looks important. And they discuss the point because of the I-beam, and I'm not gonna get an explanation, except the result goes to St. Louis Park. That's what the roar from the student section was, and they are standing the entire time. I've never seen such enthusiasm for a volleyball team. It's great to see. 
What a great high school to come to, St. Louis Park. And they're blocking at the net, Savoy. That was a nice save in the back row, though, by Grace Hansen. And there's the kill attempt by number 11, Steiner. But Samoy giving it right back to her. Now the set behind, the dink shot saved by Knight. Now back row, Carlson into the net. And it may have been blocked by Steiner. Maddie Steiner playing well, the junior as well for Two Rivers. And that point goes to Two Rivers. Now back to serve, number five, Izzy Kirchner. 5'10", senior. Her team down five, still in this game. Now Carlson with a nice bump. Schrader with the quick set. Grace Johnson plays it safely. Now the kill shot goes long. It was not touched at the net. So point and the serve goes to St. Louis Park. 59 our score. Park now 10 from the victory in game two and a commanding lead in this best of five match. And now Schrader, the ace, all-time ace leader in St. Louis Park High School gets that one in. Now Carlson steps up with the bump. Schrader to the near side. Samoy gets it to go on that kill shot. And she's got two great shots at the net in a row here. And look at Schrader putting that right where it needs to be. And I think that is her other school record, which I have not discussed. I've got an email here, and I've gotten through some of it here. All right, now the serve by Schrader. Kill shot blocked at the net by Samoy. Ball still alive, two rivers. Oh, that was an interesting shot there. Put a little spin on it. St. Louis Park handled it. Samoy, though, overshoots. She might be getting a little tired out there. 16 to 10. And uh, we have substitutions. Two Rivers doing a lot more substituting. Now checking in number seven to serve. There she is. That's Kate Murphy. Also checking in in the front row, Ellen Kipka, who's been effective number two. And now with a six point deficit, it's Murphy. Back row, Johnson, near side, slat and grin, and that's blocked at the net. Number 11, Maddie Steiner, the junior. Gets that block, and she's loving it. It is great feeling in volleyball, almost like no other sport it feels like. And there's so many opportunities, too, to get that feeling. And now Samoy, goodness gracious. Launch angle, bang, I mean, look at that. If you drew a triangle from the net, what is that, an isosceles? That's kind of, I don't know. Big time shot, that I know. Now back row as Samoy now gets the serve. Up by six, 17 to 11. Now near side, Carlson takes something off that from the back row. She was a little, I think, on her heels there and wisely played it safe. Now the bump by Barnetta. Carlson back row, saved by Murphy. And the power of Carlson made it. Hard for Murphy to handle that, and that goes to all Carlson right there, and that's gotta be another kill shot win for her, and another school record. She's gotta be nearing 700 here, that's a milestone. Now 18 to 11, Park now starting to sniff that finish line at the end of game two, the point 25, now Kipka tried to thread the needle along that, uh, along the, the net there, and couldn't quite get it to go, but a nice idea I felt by Kipka. 19-11 though, our score, and there is Houston Samoy. Is she having a great night? Both from the service line and at the front line. No, look at that, no spin on that ball, folks. That is a big time serve by the senior, number 10, and that point is back to her. And now St. Louis Park, five points from the victory in game two. Timeout by Two Rivers. They're gonna make a run, now's the time to do it, so not a bad time for Coach Kate Naughton to call that timeout. And also a good time for Coach Sam Hanlon, there she is talking, look at the cohesiveness of the St. Louis Park team. They have got something special, I certainly felt that in game one, I remember making those comments, looking forward to the next match, and I think if I got the schedule right, Park TV 16 Sports will be back here on October 7th, Monday, 
least tentatively against Mata Midai. There it is, October 7th, that schedule coming up. So Waconia tomorrow night, right back here, and then they've got three on the road. Big matches, Chaska, Park Center, then Bloomington Jefferson, Mata Midai at Chanhazen, that'll be a big one, and then the crosstown rival, right, Vanilt St. Margaret's. Always a great matchup to close out the regular season, but right now they're trying to close out game two. Timeout over with. Samoy, five away from the victory. Back to serve for her third consecutive point in a row. Look at that, no spin and trouble in paradise for two rivers and they almost saved it. Shields persevered there. That is what is one fun thing about volleyball. You can keep the ball alive and come up with some amazing teamwork. Always entertaining. Now Samoy, four from the victory in game two. This time, Shields handles it well. The kill shot was right in the wheelhouse, blocked by McNaughton. Two Rivers saves it, Kipka over the net. That's Barnett with it. Schrader to the near side, and McNaughton! Oh my goodness, Nabea Carlson! Earthquake City when her ball hits the ground. My goodness, look at this. Oh, it's almost dangerous. Yeah, nothing you can do with that launch angle. Goodness gracious. Hide the children. Now Samoy puts a little curve on that. Save Kipka now, couldn't quite. She wanted to adjust, good idea. Point St. Louis Park, now they're two from the victory in game two. They won game one, 25-17. Now Samoy, look at that serve. What can't she do? Look at the teamwork on the bench, the choreography. A lot of good juju going on on that park bench and in that park team. 24-11, game point to take a two games to none lead in this best of five. Samoy, nice by Shields, chance now, and the kill shot, Barnett, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That was a heck of a play by Barnett, just defensively. Now Samoy, and Carlson tried to place it, goes out of bounds, and Two Rivers lives on for one more point, but boy, that Barnett save was incredible. Okay, now back in to serve is Shields. She's got to rally off 13 points here to get the win in a row. It starts with one. Schrader, now Carlson, and that ends it. 25-12, our score. St. Louis Park take game, takes game two. They lead 2-0. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports. We're streaming live on YouTube. Come on back for game number three. Oh, oh, that's right, we're gonna stay here. And now I gotta find that email about who we're gonna award here. So we are gonna have a little bit of a ceremony. I'm not sure how it's gonna happen, what the structure is, whether anyone's gonna talk or not. But I will just say that the email says that between periods or games two and three, we are going to honor Announcing that a couple of our players have broken St. Louis Park volleyball records. Nevea Carlson, senior number four outside hitter, career leader in kills. Coming into tonight, she needed two kills to break the record of 693. She was at 692 when she came in, and I think she's got at least a half dozen tonight. So she's closing in on 700, but with 694, she did break the record. It was held by Ella Trotter, back in 2017, so a seven year record. All right, they're talking now. So they're announcing the Bayer Carlson for that uh, stat that I just gave you, and then following her will be Amara Schrader, who won the school record in career setting assists and career serving aces. She got the school record in assists on October on August 27th against Bloomington Kennedy. And there's Carlson though as we're getting the career leader in kills for the whole high school in all time. Nevaeh <laughs> Carlson, they gave her a ball there it looks like. And now 
they're gonna honor Amara Schrader. She, as I was just saying, she set the school record in career setting assists, and we've seen many of those tonight. And I just mentioned she broke that record on August 27th of this year versus Bloomington Kennedy. And then she also broke the school record, and they're announcing that right now for career serving aces, and that was just a couple of weeks ago on September 7th, 2024. Both those records, career setting assists and serving aces, were previously held by Michaela Winward, who graduated in 2019. 1,417 assists was broken by Amara Schrader. There she is, accepting her acknowledgement and well-deserved. And I commemorate that, it looks like a souvenir volleyball and Pretty amazing, you don't see school records broken every day and anywhere, and those are huge records. Kills, assists, and aces. Congratulations to those two. All right, we're at a break between games two and three. St. Louis Park leads two nothing. Stay tuned for game number three. Sometimes there's no do-over. Some things you can't rewind. That's when an extra safety step could mean the difference between a close call and a call to 911. Simple steps save lives. Learn more at poolsafely.gov. Come back to St. Louis Park High School and girls non-conference volleyball on Park TV 16 Sports. We're streaming live on YouTube and we're bringing you St. Louis Park and Two Rivers, Two Rivers out of the Metro East. Of course, St. Louis Park out of the Metro West and there are the results of games one and two. St. Louis Park dominating so far. Two Rivers has played well at times, but there is a lot of talent on this Park team and they are in full colors display tonight. School records getting broken, and they've got an eight and two record this year, and they are looking very good here, mid-season form. All right, now to begin game three, that is Amar Schrader, the all-time ace leader in St. Louis Park girls volleyball history, and that kill shot misses the mark. That was Shifsky, number nine, from that left outside position, and I thought that was awful close, but that's gonna be point one for St. Louis Park, and now Schrader to go for her second point. Took a little something off that one, plus there was no spin on it. Now Carlson, bump, now bump by Schrader to Samoy, and that kill shot is in! Boy, I looked out to me, and I can see the expression on Shivsky's face. Judge for yourself right here. See if we can get a shot. Boy, it may have caught the line. It was close. Let's see, right? Oh yeah, I. you can't turn it. What's the word in the NFL? There's gotta be, there's some phrase they use. And there's Carlson diving, and that's a point for irrefutable proof or something like that. But that may have caught the line there. I think it was close enough to be a good call for sure. Now two to one, our score. Substitution, and now checking in for the first time tonight. Number 13, Nevaeh Martin. So Two Rivers has their own Nevaeh. And she will enter this match, and her jump serve into the net gives another point to Park. So if you're gonna beat St. Louis Park, unforced errors have gotta be kept to a minimum. Uh, goes without saying, but sometimes it always needs to be said. You can eliminate the unforced errors. You give yourself a much better chance at winning any type of match in any kind of sport. And now here's Samoy, who just dominated at the end of game two. And now her serve has two rivers on the run, but they do save it. But a chance for Schrader with the set to Slattengren. And now off that I beam, the ball is alive. Everything is legal on that ceiling. And that ball by Samoy, she was a little off balance leaning forward, and that's why that ball sailed long. And that results in Two Rivers getting their second point. So they're just down one here early in game three, but they must win this game to keep the match going in this best of five. And now in to serve Danny Shields, the junior. 
from a left center position. And she keeps her feet on the ground. I think that's better unless you've got that jump served down. Now Carlson, she tried to walk the net there. And there's a violation at the net by St. Louis Park. And we're now tied at three. And Danny Shields will get a second chance. She's got a powerful serve there. I never did a jump serve, no way. I like to just keep my, and I thought I had more power that way, but that serve is in by Shields, and she's got two in a row, and Two Rivers has an early lead here. They haven't had a lead since early in game one, and now they've got an early lead here at four to three, so Park needs to keep their attention. There was a lot of high feelings and everything. You don't want to have a letdown here if you're Coach Sam for their St. Louis Park team here. And now Carlson, and it gets blocked at the net. Number nine and number eight, that is Shivsky and Etzel. Pushing back here a little bit for Two Rivers. And now Shields going for her third service point in a row in a two point lead. And that one's in. Barnett had a little trouble with that. Now Slattengren, and they have lost their focus here. And I can see Coach Sam Hanlon, she's getting up and she is calling timeout, and I don't blame her. I was thinking the exact same thing. And boy, there were all those awards and a lot of good feelings. And she's got to manage the emotions of these girls, and they've got to get their focus back, it feels like. Okay, now Two Rivers has their upcoming schedule. And I was mentioning they only had five games coming into the match, and St. Louis Park had 10. But their upcoming schedule, all Eastern schools, except for Kennedy, that's the only common opponent I also noticed earlier this season, St. Louis Park beat Kennedy 3-0. Otherwise, I don't think they share any of common opponents there. But Simley's out east, St. Paul Central, of course, Matamidi out east, Kennedy by the Mall of America, then Tartan, I think that's up north, Simley. All right, now following the timeout, and a good one by Sam Hanlon. Her team down early here, 6-3, and Shields going for her fourth service point. And that one is in, back row Samoy. Now, Grace Johnson, spike attempt back row, and a great timeout by Sam Hanlon, and I think she got her players' attention on that timeout. And understandable that there was a little bit of a letdown, and there is that serve just causing, or that kill shot causing all kinds of problems. Now back to serve, Grace Johnson. She comes up, bump, Schrader, and the tip. Oh, and that was one too many. It balanced right on the top of that net like a balance beam, and it just fell to the St. Louis Park side. So now a three-point lead again for Two Rivers, and now coming in to serve. Is that woman right there, number three, Amelia Banny. And she had a nice run on service attempts in game two. Let's see if she can regain that form. Now Samoy back row. Schrader behind her net to Slattengren. She plays it safely. Now off the mark, blocked at the net. Carlson along with Megan Knight. I'm not sure if I was, my vantage point was blocked. They were both in on it. You can see she was off balance there. And I think they both got a piece of it. And that gives the serve back to St. Louis Park. They're down 7-5. And that is number 11, Celia Slattengren. 5-9, sophomore. Little topspin heat, shields with that bump. And over the net and out of bounds. If it wasn't touched by Park, they get the point. And they do, and they draw the deficit to one. 7-6 now, Two Rivers. Which I think used to be called Henry Sibley High School, if I'm not mistaken. They changed their name a few years ago. I'm always confused by that, but they're out of Mata Vidi and the Metro East Conference. Blocked at the net and they find the open space. I think it was Knight and or Carlson. Looks like Carlson getting the accolades there. And now Slattengren back to serve. She's got her team back tied. Following that timeout, it was 6-3 and now they've tied it up. So. I think Park is back on focus, and now the back row off Slattengren. Nice shot by number 25, and I don't think I have a name for her, fortunately. But in the serve, I have a name for her. That's number four, Grace Hansen, the senior outside hitter. Her team up 8-7 as Two Rivers 
Trying to stay in the Schrader. No double hit there. Wow, great body control by Schrader. Now, the set to the near side, off the mark. And was there a point given to St. Louis Park? I thought she was in the net, but they give it to Two Rivers, and now they have their only lead this deep into a game. Usually by this point, they were behind and they did not catch up, but this time they've turned the tables on the Orioles, and they're up 9-7, and a miss hit by Grace Hansen gives a point to Park, and the serve will go to Nevaeh Carlson, who broke a school record for kill shots. And she's got a lot of games left to add to that school record, and that was a quick service there. No jump serve by her, Shields, and there's an infraction. Looked like on number five for Two Rivers, and I could see Coach Sam Hanlon called it from her vantage point on the bench. I can see her get up and then that's right when the whistle happened. Okay, now Carlson with another no spin serve. And Two Rivers has to play defense. Now Carlson with the bump to Schrader, the set. Uh, Samoy found the soft spot. They faked it to Megan Knight who didn't hit it. That was just a brilliant complex play there that ended up with Samoy getting the point. And Park now regains the lead at 10 to nine here in game three. And Carlson is going for her fourth consecutive service point, and I think that was touched at the front line. Yep, it was tipped by St. Louis Park. Point goes to Two Rivers, and hey, they've gotta be feeling good here in game three, and a tied at 10 right there. Boy, did it touch the fingertips or not? I didn't see a lot of body language that suggested an opinion otherwise by that front line. So number eight, that's all. Now Schrader to Samoy, and blocked at the net again by Maddie Steiner, number 11, the junior, making her presence felt on that front line. And now back to serve once again, Addison Etzel. She's dangerous from that service line as she proved in game two. And now her team up one, 11-10. Grace Johnson off the ceiling and not able to save it, Schrader, and Two Rivers now with a two-point lead. And it is getting interesting here in game three. The high school student section ramping up the enthusiasm here, trying to urge on their Orioles team, and now that one gets away from Etzel and out of bounds. And point to Park and the serve will go to Megan Knight, number two, the senior, also having a great night, both at the line and the service, the front line and the service line. Now, Megan Knight, the jump serve, goes to that right side, played by Amundsen. Now the return to Amundsen, and her kill shot was a blocked at the net, it was not. And that overshoots the back line, so point to Knight and the Orioles, and we're tied at 12. Megan Knight, 5'10", senior. She's going for that right corner and she finds it. Grace Hansen took a gamble and this time she was wrong and now Park regains the lead at 13-12 and we're at that witching hour here in game three which could be for the match. Halfway through exactly. And that back net saved by Shields and the kill shot by number five Kirshner into the net. And there was a fence there at the front line. Now Megan Knight going for a three-point lead as she checks the scoreboard there. And she is on a roll here. I'm not keeping track, but I think this is at least four or five in a row. And now she goes to the back row. Nice save by Hansen. Front row, Steiner dinks it across. Now to the near side. Grace Hansen with the kill shot. Just misses the left line. Point goes to two rivers. Referees had to talk about it there. They weren't sure. It's certainly from my vantage point, which isn't the best. Looked like it might have been a little outside, and that was the call. Now it's 14-13. Back to serve is Kirshner. The jump serve, handcuffs Barnett in the back row, and I think that might have been going in. And that was a nice serve by Kirshner, the jump serve. Can't remember if she was struggling with that before, but that was brilliant. See if she goes right back to Barnett. Looks like she does. Nope, this time Carlson. Carlson couldn't control the power, and that's gonna be a point to Two Rivers. Absolutely. And we're now at 14-15, Two Rivers 
regains the lead by one. Back and forth we go here in game three. Two Rivers not going silently into that good night. No siree, now the serve. Carlson again struggled with it and now they just saved it. Schrader brilliantly just got it back over the net and that handcuffed Two Rivers and we're tied at 15. And now it's who gets to 10 first. And now the all-time ace leader from the serve, back to serve, Amar Schrader. Just what the doctor ordered for the Orioles. Back row, nice opportunity for Amundsen, and Samoy rejects it right back and gets point 16. Look at this volleyball action. Big kill shot and the block at the net. Samoy along with Grace Johnson, I think they both got a piece of it. Now Barnett sacrifices everything to save that point. And a chance for Two Rivers at the net. And Samoy trapped it against the net and then Carlson, and that's because she was leaning forward and that ball sailed on her. Balance is so important in sports, it's so important in all aspects. And there, when you're going forward, the ball's gonna sail on you. And now we're tied at 16. Looking at some of these Two Rivers parents fans, and they are really sitting on their hands here, hoping for a victory, knowing that their team is playing much better and against a tough team, hoping to pull out this game three. But now Park has a one-point lead, and now Samoy, and when she got the serve last time at around this point, she never gave it up. Remember, Park was down 6-3 early. Coach Hans Hanlon had to take a timeout, and now Samoy lost that one, and we're tied at 17. Don't go anywhere, and now checking in, ace extraordinaire Danny Shields for Two Rivers. She rattled off four points last time. Let's see if she gets that magic back. Goes to the back row. Samoy struggled with it. Now to the near side, Carlson. And that power is way too much for number six, CC Bung Jones, Bungy Jones, if I'm pronouncing that right. Couldn't handle that. And now here's Park and Grace Johnson, number six, back to serve, looking very determined. Back row, Jones. Near side, the kill shot. That was in the wheelhouse for number nine, Shitsky. And that was big time, and now she'll come out, and she is celebrating as she should. Watch this power. And she just blew through that block attempt by St. Louis Park, and we're tied at 18. This is one exciting game three here, folks. Now Banny, who served very well in game two. Now, Megan Knight is not gonna have it. Right down the center. And that was a launch angle right there. And they know they're in a tight one, and you can't help but laugh and smile when you make a shot like that. I keep saying it, but it's so true. It's such a part of this game. All right, now Slattengren back to serve. Her team, six from the victory, but only a one point lead here late in game three, trying to sweep the Warriors of Two Rivers High School in Matamidi and the miss hit by Two Rivers. Now gives Park a two point lead, which now looms even bigger with only five to go for the match. Two Rivers though giving St. Louis Park coming in eight and two, all they can handle in game three. Back to serve, Slattengren, back row. Bungy Jones, now the set ahead, well done, and the kill shot saved by Carlson, now Samoy, and again saved by Bungy Jones. She has played well in that back row since coming in off the bench for Two Rivers. And now Megan Knight gets it to go, and she needed all the muscle she could bring on that, because there was a block attempt right at the net there, and it didn't go Two Rivers way. A three-point lead now for St. Louis Park right here. There's Megan Knight right here. Watch her come up and just set up there. But look at the muscle there. It almost came right back to her. And that was a one-on-one -on -one battle. Fiercely fought, won by St. Louis Park. And there are some fans. Look at that guy. Who doesn't want to be him? You get that cool car, 
jealous of that thing. Yeah, eating the keys. Yeah, wait till he wants that car, mama. <laughs> then we've got to do something. Okay, but he's getting ready. That was a cute shot there in that corner. All right, now following the timeout, 21-18, our score in to serve. Celia Slattengren. 5'9", sophomore, trying to close it out. Two Rivers, trying to get right back in this. They're down three with four to go. All right, now as we set here, Slattengren, back row to Shields. Set by Fanny and the kill shot into the net. Megan Knight was there, but I think the net was even there before Megan Knight. And now it's 22-18. And the dream might be over here for Two Rivers as St. Louis Park is now just three away from the match. Slattengren, back row, Shields had trouble with it. They gotta save it, and they do. That's number eight over her head, Etzel, nice job. Now Carlson to try to end it. Shields with the diving save, now over the net. Grace Johnson and Samoy from the set by Schrader. What a combination. In every set that number five Schrader gets, that's another school record. School records are being broken every night by those two players, and there's another one. That's set to Samoy, and it's 23-18, and Slattengren looking to close this out with authority. Now we've got a timeout by Two Rivers. One last talk here. As they are in striking distance, volleyball's funny because if you get the ball back, you get the serve and you get a point, you don't get your points just on serve. Of course, if you're watching this, you already know that. But that you can get those points quick. So I think that's a wise timeout by Kate, Katie Naughton. Why not? That close. They get on a roll. They could catch St. Louis Park. And St. Louis Park, they've got to keep their focus here. Close these games out. Don't want to give a team two rivers who came in with just a two and three record. It's only their sixth match of the season. Meanwhile, this is the 11th match of St. Louis Park. All right, now, this is it here. Cel Celia Slattengren, two away from the victory, following the timeout. Here we go. Slattengren, back row, Shields handles it well. Fanny, the set missed the mark, and now a chance for Carlson. And she delivers it right to Fanny, number three, who couldn't quite handle it. And now Slattengren, game point. And that was a key point following a timeout. You kind of want to ice the server, ice the team on momentum, but didn't work for Coach Naughton and Two Rivers. And now not only do we have game point, it's match point. Slattengren just threads the needle. That was a double hit. And that's out of bounds, and that's going to do it. Our final score in game three. 25-18, St. Louis Park sweeps. 25-17, 25-12, 25-18. So for Paul Broden, our producer, and everyone connected with Park TV 16 Sports, my name is Robert Christensen. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again. Have a great night.